God, I hate Halloween. If there's one thing I hate more than annoying children, it's giving things to annoying children. Aw, oh, come on, Wheeze. Where's your Halloween spirit? Nah, this is not a holiday that requires any kind of spirit. I don't even know if you could call it a holiday. It's basically a day so that goth kids can come out of the house without being questioned by the police. But, free candy. Shut up. And what are you two supposed to be? I'm the Tooth Fairy. And I was going to be Batman. But I screwed up the costume somewhere in its process, so I became a tooth. Well, I guess this isn't as bad as last year. Hey, Jim, what are you going as? I'm a nudist. Don't you think you're a little too old for this, Jim? Hey, how come when we go to conventions and cosplay, nobody questions us, but when we dress up for Halloween, it's always, you're too old for that. Shouldn't it at least be the other way around? Yeah, see, you can't come back to that. Let's go, Mitri. You think they'll get lost again this year? Yep. All right, let's do this. Let's hit some houses. Let's get pumped on sugar. Let's mow a lawn. You really are too old for this. I know. Let's throw that house over there. What do you want? Trick or treat. I don't have any candy. Go away. You wouldn't be holding out on us, would you? I said no. <laughs> Who the hell doesn't have candy on Halloween? Jim hungry. Jim want candy. Well, luckily no one's come by and asked for any candy yet. How many people can you actually expect to come with you guys living miles away from civilization? You'd be surprised. <laughs> what the? Those little bastards! Somebody go in the basement and get my shotgun! Ooh, 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 ooh! Pick me! Pick me! I'll do it! Wow, you really jumped at that job. I have my reasons. I'll go with her. Me too. I only need one person to get it. I just want to see the basement. I didn't know we had one. I don't understand why you live in such a small house and this basement is a huge labyrinth. Probably for irony. Why do I get the feeling that this is going to turn out to be like one of those things where a bunch of zombies appear and kill us all? Or ghosts that want to rip our intestines out. Or squirrels. You just... completely ruined that. You have angered the gods. Now we must sacrifice you. What? Bye. <laughs> Uh, is there a reason why there's a pit of fire in your basement? Yes, but let's forget it was ever there. I don't understand how you have, like, twice as much candy as me. We've been going to the same houses. It's because you're not a resourceful trick-or-treater. What's trick-or-treating? Watch. When you go to one of these houses, then it just leaves out a bowl of candy with no one watching. You take it all. But that sign says please only take two. Oh, what, do you think the cops are going to come and arrest us? All right, we caught you red-handed. What'd I do? Enough with the attitude. Am I gonna have to bust a cap in your ass? Don't ever say that. I'll say what I want to say. I am the law. You kids realize that this constitutes a stealing? Uh, quick, Jim, throw your wand at them and turn them into dental floss or something. Run! Where are they with my shotgun? Trick or treat. Oh, I suppose you'll be wanting this candy, huh? Love. Well, for me to properly assign you the correct piece of candy, you must first fill out these questionnaires and mail them back to me within the next few days. Then, and only then, will you receive your candy. How come we keep getting these? What? Check a treat. What is that? What? That looks like copyright infringement. I'm gonna have to kill you. But I'm currently waiting on a shotgun, so just have a seat over there until I get to you. You too? All right, this is pissing me off. Where is that shotgun? How can anything be found in here? This place is a maze. Screw this. If he wants his shotgun, he can come down here and get it himself. Yeah, let's just get out of here. Uh, any idea where we are? Not a clue. If only he didn't push Sapphire into that pit of fire. Maybe she could have given us some kind of insight. Yeah, well, you're lucky it didn't kill me. Why did you do that? I have a problem, okay? Jim Bob, I understand that she didn't have the fudgy crunch bars that you wanted, but I see no reason to have killed her. I've done a bad thing. Now George ain't gonna let me tend no rabbit. What? Chewbacca! Whatever. But listen, we gotta come up with a story and stick to it. So if anyone says anything, tell them that we knocked on the door, no one answered, so we opened it, and her dead body was laying there. Got it? Sure do, Frank. All right, then, repeat it back to me. We were walking down the street, and Uncle Jose shows up in his hot air balloon and gave us tasty cakes. Oh, and Randy Newman was there. And the car imploded. Yay! 
All right, looks like we're going to have to resort to plan B. Jim, stuff her in your bag and let's get back to the house. All right, if those three don't get up here with that shotgun soon, I'm going to have to start beating kids with a belt. Bye, Weez, bye, Weez. Gonna go eat our candy. I never get to hurt anything. Well, we're definitely lost. Yeah, this is all Sapphire's fault. No, it's Weez's. Same thing. Hey, do you see something over there? Oh my god, it's a monster coming to eat our brains! No, it's just Mitri and Jim Bob, burying a dead body. Oh, then I don't care. Hey, guys! Oh, what are you doing here? We sent us down here to look for a shotgun, but no such luck. Well, I can't allow you to leave. You've seen too much. Looks like I'm just going to have to kill you. You should use this. Nar, tell me that's not the shotgun we sent us down here to get. It is. Well, don't give it to them. Run! All right, that works.